I'm getting ready to go to uh, Mirror Lake to the top of Tom, Dick, and Harry Mountain. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Mount Hud's right here. Oh yeah. Looks a little bit less snowy than last time I was up here. I'm gonna try to uh, summit all three peaks and show you guys what the hike is like after the um, Mirror Lake Trail. So this is the location of the old trailhead right here. Uh, now they moved the trailhead to the uh, uh, to Ski Bowl parking lot because so many people were parking on the road and there was way not enough parking for this amount of uh, hikers. So now they uh, now it's a nice big parking lot. And I'm seeing a little bit of snow, which is not great. I'm not a fan of hiking in snow. Hopefully I'll be able to make it to the third peak. If not, I'll get a nice hike in. Here is the Mirror Lake Trailhead. A nice big parking lot. Starting the hike. There's a nice bathroom right here. No mountain biking, ATVs, or cars. You have to say no cars on a trail is probably a little too well groomed, you know? You literally drive a car on this thing, only for like a few hundred feet. A little bit of snow still. A little disappointing, but hopefully they there's not much more snow. <laughs> I hate hiking on snow. I think there's about seven bridges. This is the first one, or no, that's the second one. Um, I was checking the trail report because I was wanting to make sure I wasn't didn't need micro spikes or crampons. I totally did not realize that there would be this much snow this time of year, but. Whatever. One of the reports says there's no snow after the fifth, first 15 to 20 minutes, so let's give it a shot. Yay! Finally mostly snow free. So much better. The trail goes down for quite a while before it starts going back up. Once you hear the river after climbing a bit. You're at the lake, pretty much. It's right up here. There it is, Mirror Lake. You can't actually see clearly why it's called Mirror Lake during the midday. Um, uh, the water is a little too rough. Um, but I'll take you to the spot where you can usually see the mirror. This way. <laughs> I'm down the wrong trail. This is like a marsh. Um, oh, yuck. I'm gonna step this way. The boards are floating on water, and so I can't walk around this way. But the spot is right over there against that wall. I'll take you up to the summit and then we'll go around the other way. So here's a sign that goes around the that goes around the lake and then this is the way up to the top of Tom, Dick, and Harry Mountain. Uh, most people stop. I believe it's Tom Mountain is the first one, but I'm not sure. We're gonna see if we can go to all three. Um, the first one's easy. The next three are kind of a bushwhack and I don't know. 
if we'll make it, but we'll have a good time trying. Oh no. More snow. Can't deal with all this post tilling. This is the first viewpoint of the hike, where you can see Mount Hood if you don't go around the lake. Just go straight up to the top of the mountain. It's pretty cool. I like it. This is the Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness. Whatever the, ugh, ouch, stab me. <laughs> There's a corner, and you take a left, and it's pretty flat for a while. That's when you get close to the summit. It's just walking through some trees here. Dang, there's snow. It's like my least favorite thing to hike in. Here's the top of Tall Mountain. I think Harry Mountain, there's Dick Mountain. This is Tom. I don't know. I don't really know which name, which peak is which, but I just know there's three of them. And the trail after this point is pretty sketchy. It's right across the top of this boulder field. This is right here. This is the way to the end of this ridge line. And I wanted to show you guys something. This right here, let me see if I can get to it. This right here is the very first place. I ever camped right here. I cooked my first meal right there. This is what got this is what got me started on hiking right here. This spot. This view. <laughs> I mean, from somebody that never hiked before very much, this was like paradise. Absolutely incredible view. The sunset over there, just like the whole mountain turned like orange. It's really special. This is the second place I camped. Right here. A little bit nicer than the first, like a little bit, not as good a view, but a little bit better, uh, a little bit better area. You can see Mount Jefferson on the back side here. Um, all right. Do there a little bit, but ah, uh, yeah, and the trail's getting a little bit better here. Less snow. I gotta try to make it to the end of the ridge line. So far, I think we'll be able to make it. It's quite a bushwhack over there, but I think we can do it. Here's the last place I camped up here. It was this spot right here, right there. This one's probably the best place to watch the sunrise. Well, really the sunset, because you can see sunset there. There's Mount Jefferson. There's the last mountain you need to go to. And then there's Mirror Lake and Mount Hood. And you could see Mount St. Helens and Mount Adams right there. And sometimes you can see Rainier. I think you could barely see it today. But yeah, this is the trail over. It's kind of steep and kind of rugged. All the way over to there. See if we can do this. Here's the, uh, yeah. It's kind of steep here, but not too bad. This is, uh, 
This is tough. Not tough necessarily, but just like scree. And I hate going downhill, hiking into a hike. Hiking out uphill is always rough. Grand Canyon is a worst example of that. <laughs> oh, that is tough coming out of there. Here's this funky rock. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna go see if I can climb it. Here's the top of the last mountain. Perry Mountain, I believe. We'll see. <laughs> this is just called Tom, Dick, and Harry Mountain because it has three point peaks. So. This is apparently where people camp and watch the sunrise. I'm not entirely sure what the solar panel's for. Oh, well, that's fun. There's a ski. There's a ski route this way. It looks pretty steep. I don't know if I can handle that. It just wiped out. <laughs> so I don't like hiking on snow. Also, I forgot my micro spikes. But <laughs> it is what it is. There's the rock. It's quite a drop. <laughs> You know somebody's tried to, to land a ski jump off that. favorite part of the hike. Panoramic views of all the mountains and the lake on a ridge line. This is great. Made it to the top and back to the summit of Tom Mountain in one hour 49 minutes. Not too shabby. I think we're doing pretty good time. Now it's just time to get down. Hope I don't break my leg on the snow without my micro spikes. So there's the peaks. There's the first peak, the second one, that's where I camped. I also camped like so I camped there, there, and 
there. And then we went to that peak over there. So that's where we went. And right there. You can barely see that little rock. That's uh that's that funky rock that I climbed. I'm walking around the back side of the lake because the uh uphill side is flooded with the uh um the boards are floating and so when you step on them they sink and get your feet wet. So I went around the other way and uh right up here is where you can see my hood. Kind of gross back here. The lake is pretty big. I'm trying to get to the viewpoint. Yeah, so on the far side of the lake, uh, this is the uh, spot. If you stand right here in the early morning, there's a perfect mirror image of Mount Hood in the lake. So, yeah, so the entrance to the lake is kind of over there. That's where your trail comes up. You go around almost 180 degrees and it's right here. So That's how you get there. But yeah, it's really got to be the early morning. Like you can see right now, it's pretty, uh, pretty choppy. I'll put a picture here of what it looks like when it's smooth. Almost back to the car. Oh, I hate the snow. <laughs> Almost done. All right. I finished the climb or hike. <laughs> And let's see here, three hours and seven minutes, messing around, taking videos, 9.4 miles, good stuff. So overall that was a good hike. Um, the snow at the beginning and the end was kind of uh, tricky, but it wasn't too bad. I would wear probably micro spikes, but I didn't really need them. It would just be kind of nice. Um, yeah, going forward, I say the whole trail is probably in for the summer, but in a few weeks it'll probably be snow free. Right now, there's still a decent, a kind of decent amount of snow. It's not a ton, but it's enough to be annoying. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go home and party on. <laughs>